uh, you know, one of the perks uh, working at uh, Vulcan Video was free movies, at, not only at Vulcan for renting, but at the Draft House and uh, AFS Cinema and Violet Crown Cinema. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, for a time when obviously there were many less Draft House employees, anyone who worked there could get free rentals, but eventually, you know, it, that was stopped because, you know, there's a lot of you and there's only so many of us. Um, but the one place that didn't have, didn't ever have that many customers or, or not that many employees was Violet Crown. And so, uh, Violet Crown or VCC employees, uh, rented old releases for free. Uh, new releases they paid for, they still paid late fees, but they rented new releases for free. And, um, I bring this up not to throw them under the bus, but like 90% of the time they wouldn't tip. They would rent movies for free and then not tip. And it was like a fucking red letter day, like, you know, a, a cause for celebration when one would. And it's like, guys, we're not going to Violet Crown that much. It's okay. It's an okay theater. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, a dollar for, you know, the stack of movies you're getting. Um, you know, they were, they were nice people. One or two weren't, but, you know, and one guy, you know, would tip or stuff. Um, um, but it was just like, ah, come on guys we're all in this together you're probably getting paid more than us uh, i remember when the elizabeth store was closing down and it was like hey you know you can return movies you know in the slot you know well they'll still be open but you know the store is closing and uh, uh, a violet crown employee called up and was like hey i'm gonna i can't return this uh by this day and i don't want it to be late can i come in and re-rent and i was like no the store is going to be closed we will not have a system <laughs> you can't re-rent it. You're going to have to return it and pay the late fee or rent it, bring it earlier. And he was like, oh, what? But that's not, I'm like, dude, yeah, like, what the fuck do you want, man? Like, you, know, you didn't you didn't pay anything for this. Like, you know, it's going to be a bit of a hassle. Uh, and it happened again recently when we did the, uh, when we shut down the store, but we're still doing, uh, you know, COVID-19 rentals. Uh, by the crown employee called up and was like, oh, can I get this and this? And oh, and I, I rent for free. Like, no, no, <laughs> you're going to have to pay for these. We're, it's the, we're in the start of a pandemic here. I'm sorry. Um, and she, she's a very nice person and she did pay for stuff and everything. And I was like, hey, good to see you. Um, but I was like, come on guys. Like we're all getting this stuff for free. I'm, I'm tipping at the draft house, you know, mea culpa. I'm not buying a lot of snacks and stuff, uh, when I go to watch stuff by the crown. Um, so, you know, maybe, uh, a, a, a an actual cause for, for animosity and stuff, but, um, oh, well, my, my, my cross to bear, my grudge, um, but I'm burying that hatchet because now there's no, there's no store. So what do I have to live for? Nothing. Uh, a great thing every year was Independent International Video Store Day in October the 3rd, we can in October? third um we'd have snacks and we'd have sales and usually a keg of beer a donated beer and uh unfortunately this last one was not great but in the start they're really fun and uh we would do like a scavenger hunt and famously one year the charles edward cheese band had a special video store set and then they they would later do a music video in the store there um and it was just it was really uh people would do would come and do face painting and stuff and there were so many We'd have a big uh, raffle and give away all kinds of stuff. And, you know, just a lot of the a lot of the city and friends of the store and friends of employees um, would come and help us out. And it was just that kind of, that was the day that would just kind of encapsulate that neighborhood hangout spot where people would come in and just, you know, just chill for the day and stuff. You know, run a, run a tape, run some stuff, buy some things, enter the raffle and then just kind of, you know, hang out and talk and we would talk movies. And it'd be a long, long day, but, um, a, you know, a well, a profitable day and stuff. But yeah, but just one of those things where, you know, we, you were supporting something good and you could see it and you could see how happy people were and stuff. And that was really great. 